Hi everyone and welcome to FXDD live trading webinar. My name is Nenad, always with you, trading live on live account and uh, always transparent showing uh, results. Before we start, have in mind that Forex trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors and traders. Before you start trading live, please educate yourselves on the risk associated with Forex market. Have in mind that everything that you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. And on these web addresses, sign up for more live educational and trading webinars. And now we actually continue with uh, our uh, trading uh, webinar. This, these are entries that I currently have and you can join. Uh, Stop loss is here. Okay, let me show you. Uh, so we started this account with the 10,000 and now I have brought it up with Camerla MACD trading uh, to 11,715 currently, guys. So uh, basically, uh, this is uh, what we have currently. New Zealand yen uh, and uh, Euro dollar. Uh, Euro dollar uh, entry is uh, in between uh, 12, uh, 85 and 96. I was a little bit late, pulled the trigger a little bit uh, late, but this is it. If the price drops a little bit further, I might add uh, one more trade of uh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.10 lots. Uh, stop loss for this trade is um, a bit clear if you trade with Camarillas. If not, then this is the level and we always add the spread plus the five pips. So the spread is two, so seven pips or uh, it's 59. So five plus the spread number of pips. So it's uh, 66 minus seven, it's 59. And we will go with full target projection, maybe a little bit higher. So yeah, it, it, it isn't that the Euro dollar actually gives us something to really, really uh, go for in the terms of number of pips. You can see that the uh, day ATR is five. So the last five days on the Euro dollar uh, uh, have been a bit, uh, well, I can say rangy, uh, slow. So we have 45 pips of the ATR. Uh, we will try to secure at least, I don't know, at least 20, 25 pips. But guys, it's like, uh, you see, it's it's not a big, big, big uh, ATR projection here. So I'm trying to bring it uh, in between uh, H3 and here. So this will be the final target. This looks like it could actually go up. And as I already said, the uh, Euro dollar is indeed bullish, guys. So yeah, it, uh, the price is going up. I actually wanted to pull the trigger when the price was at 1.1295. But uh, I was a little bit late, just a few seconds, and it shoot it up. But it doesn't matter. I'm I'm already in. Uh, New Zealand dollar yen uh, also going up. Uh, this is a sort of. Uh, I would say this is cup with handle. The Australian dollar Swissy. Uh, we had actually uh, today. I also traded the uh, Australian dollar Swissy. Made 45 pips. On New Zealand dollar yen, uh, this is something in between ascending scallop and uh, cup with handle. This looks like cup with handle, uh, although, yeah, you see, the, the, it's, it's cup with handle. It's not ascending scallop. It should be, this top should be more uh, inclined to the north side than it, it would have been qualified as um, ascending scallop. Now, this is uh, just cup with handle, but... It, it doesn't matter, guys. It, it, it's, it's a bit obvious uh, what's going on here because the price is trying to push to the upside. We have buyers there. It's normal. That this is the POC zone. So uh, let's see. I mean, uh, buyers are here. Buyers are there. We also have uh, order block here. So, yeah, it's supported, basically. So, yeah, I might say if the bulls want to do dominate, then uh, the price should definitely go uh, from this spot more to the upside. So let's wait and see. Uh, low risk trades, guys, try to risk what you al already earned. Uh, you need to be consistent with your money management. Uh, you can actually raise the risk, of course, if it's uh, for your uh, 
if you have a little bit higher risk appetite. But the thing is that uh, uh, only if you make money, guys. For example, if you make uh, like 500 or 1,000 or 2,000, then uh, try to incorporate risk into your profits, not into your uh, equity or, or what you uh, actually don't risk your deposit, initial deposit. Uh, if your if your uh, earning curve or return on investment ROI is going up, then try to risk uh, profits. I always go with conservative uh, money management and lower risk initially. So let's wait and see. Uh, now you see the price is going up on the euro dollar. Uh, well, I will I will just wait a little bit more. If it drops, then I will add. Actually, it's very close to my entry now. So. Yeah, I'm waiting for the price to see uh, if it will drop a little bit, a little bit further. So, uh, yeah, that, that is important. Now, you see, that we have a signal here. Obviously, the price is supported, well supported. This is a signal. This is actually a initial signal here. And this is like the price is reacting. This is not the 89, but actually I see a reaction at EMA and in between daily L3 and daily L4. So I have a confluence, double confluence. I have actually triple confluence here for longs. So really, I would be very, very, I can say maybe confused if the price does not go at least towards this zone here. Then if it doesn't go, if it goes below our level here, then it, go, it can go again into a ranging and neutral mode. So that is important to see if the price will actually proceed up from this spot or it will drop below weekly L3 towards this zone here. So yeah, this is uh, regarding uh, New Zealand dollar yen and euro uh, dollar. I won't be making any uh, more trades today. Basically, what I traded today, uh, it was uh, Australian dollar Swissy. Uh, New Zealand dollar yen uh, is a trade that I'm carrying uh, over. Uh, I opened uh, the trade yesterday, but it's still valid. It is still valid. And uh, as I say, um, if I make a certain number of pips per day, or I see that uh, I'm a bit uh, correct with entries, then I stop, I stop trading for a day. I don't want to over trade. Over trading something you should definitely avoid. No matter how good your system is or how good you think you are, guys, uh, or do not over trade. Believe me. Okay, yeah. So New Zealand yen here going up. Uh, Euro dollar should also go up. GBP Australian dollar yesterday. I traded this also. Made some nice pips. You see, possible. It was possible for the pips. I think I made 20, and I don't remember. But again, today the price rejected here. There wasn't a clear signal because uh, the, the pullback was a little bit higher. But obviously, obviously, this was a good, good, good uh, opportunity uh, from this spot yesterday. And you see now it's still going down. Uh, the Australian dollars, we see clear upside here, T89 rejections from EMA and bullish zigzag. Nice, nice. I actually did also the analysis for the Australian dollar Swissy. And uh, yeah, it was on FXDD website. So I hope that you enjoyed it and that you also traded the Australian dollar Swissy. Because the pair is also safe to trade. Uh, even for traders who are new to trading, uh, pair is usually uh, safe. It's not like it has a big ATR, you see only 53 pips. So it's like Euro dollar, slower pair, moving most in a range, but good for novice traders. GBP Australian dollar, obviously we had a short opportunities here. Then the price started retracing, but we didn't have any long opportunity. The last shorting opportunity that we had according to Camilla was here. Then the price, now it's trapped in the range. I already talked about it on my webinars. Uh, GBP dollar, guys, is uh, now in range mode. So I'm not trading GBP dollar. Why would I trade it? I have something better. For example, 
uh, this pair is trending gbp australian dollar so it's much better to trade than the gbp dollar that is actually ranging i don't see anything clear in, in gbp dollar i only see the range i don't see that it, it you see that the moving averages are flat uh, everything is flat bollinger bands are con congested uh, MACD is totally flat. It's, it is a sign of, of a ranging market. I don't trade ranging market. I always trade with a trend. Of course, counter trend, trend uh, trades are also good because counter trend trades are actually retracement trades. So uh, if, you, if you got my point, uh, when you trade counter trend, you are actually initially trading retracement, not reversal, because reversal is not confirmed initially. First, we have a trend, then we have retracement. Only if the retracement is happens to be a bit deeper than 100% of the last uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement, then we might talk about um, a reversal. A reversal should be confirmed. Retracement is almost never, never confirmed. So you can just speculate about the retracement because when you get a divergence or some rejection from important level, usually you might consider uh, taking counter trend trade uh, and that trade is initially a retracement just take this example okay for example the, the gbp dollar is going up right and you want to short it here it's still uptrend you see it's still uptrend and when you short you actually trade the retracement there is no reversal until reversal is confirmed same here up 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 and then bang and now I'm talking, of course, from internet perspective. Uh, some people ask me, Nenad, what is the trend on the GBP dollar? Guys, trend exists on each time frame. I cannot say, uh, you need to tell me specifically which time frame, because each time frame has its own trends. Uh, it's, it's a big, big misconception that uh, someone can tell you uh, what the trend is if it, 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 no one is correct. Because and everyone should tell you the trend on that time frame is that. We cannot talk about general trend. Yeah, sorry. So we cannot talk about general trend. Okay? Uh, general trend is if you want to go to weekly or monthly, then you uh, see, uh, let's say, a general trend. But I'm, I don't care about weekly and monthly charts, guys. I don't trade it. I don't, I'm not an investor. I'm a trader. If I traded the weekly or monthly chart, I would be investor. I would be actually investing, right? It, it takes too long for the price to develop. So I, I really don't care. And uh, in my opinion, if you want to know about the trend, then uh, guys, uh, just think about uh, uh, time frames that you trade. If you're a swing trader, that is usually four hour time frame if you if you are like a day daily time frame trader then watch to trade trends on daily i don't care about daily time frame trading really uh, if you're internet trading then uh, watch one hour chart right if you're a scalper watch five minute time frame each time frame has its own trend my camera make the uh, method is based on uh, multiple time frames and uh, it takes always a uh, daily trend four hour momentum and one hour retracement and uh, based on that the indicators are completely coded and uh, that is what i trade here live always guys you can see the account uh, nice account really behaving well i don't see any requotes and uh, i'm happy with it really so gbp dollar then uh, let's say euro gbp it had a bullish move here guys see from this spot and also from this spot there was a nice bullish move totally respected the range here see 35 pips only this is very slow pair guys but then again market is generally slower uh, watch this new zealand dollar 43 pips yeah it's ranging euro yen it's bullish guys now euro yen is bullish slightly better movement 65 pips not great slightly better you see it was like i was also contemplating to maybe uh pull a trigger on the euro yen but uh, i decided not to trade euro yen but actually euro dollar so i don't want to be uh, double exposed to euro currency that is why i have now new zealand dollar yen and euro dollar so they are not in conflict 
GVPN, bullish signs, of course, GVPN is a faster pair, 92 pips, all, all the guys, 92 pips for the GVPN is also slow. It's not like it's making big, big, big pip count. But then again, uh, these are bullish signs and it's still bullish. Uh, GVP New Zealand, totally, totally ranging, guys. This, this, watch this. This is big range. When I see this, I don't trade, really. I don't care about ranging markets. Australian dollar, obviously bullish, guys. If you watched uh, my, uh, yeah, if you watch my analysis, if you read my analysis and watch also live analysis that I do with FXDD, you can watch it on YouTube, guys. Go to YouTube on FXDD channel and you will see my live uh, analysis. Uh, I always pick trending pairs because trend is your friend. That, that's always the fact, guys. Trend is your friend. Uh, Eurocad, wow, this was a big move. I missed it completely. This was the signal, guys. If I had taken this signal, I would have been in profits. Wow, instantly. This is uh, like instant candle, 100 pips. So good. So, so good. Yeah. Even if I got here, only 17 pip drawdown. This was a great trade. Dollar Swissy, counterpart to Euro Dollar, but also you see now Euro Dollar is going up, Dollar Swissy is going up. Obviously, this could be now a retracement to the downside on the Dollar Swissy. Australian Dollar Yen, yeah, Australian Dollar Basket is going up because of the iron ore demand. You know, guys, Australia exports to China. Chinese are biggest importers uh, uh, to Australia, and uh, they usually import iron ore, right? So uh, a high demand actually will boost uh, the national currency. So it's the Australian dollar. It's always, guys, markets are interconnected. Um, equities with commodities, uh, everything with Forex markets. So they are all interconnected. Uh, okay, GBP Swissip, nothing special. Euro, let me just check something. Yeah, I don't see nothing here really. Euro, Australian dollar, ranging mostly, guys. Yeah, these are rejections, nice rejections, slightly ranging downtrend, I might say. It's a downtrend, but it's like not a big, big downtrend. All, all these rejections were profitable, at least for 40 pips, except for this one, last one. Yeah, it was like only six, but yeah, it, but it looks rangy, guys. Watch this. Bollinger bands. Yeah, they're going down, but it's not a nice trend. I, I pick always nice trends. Yeah, dollar yen. I knew it would go up. Obviously, this is ascending scallop. You see J-shaped letter. This is ascending scallop. And the price is showing uh, nice rejections from the confluence zone. Yeah, but I'm not trading, guys, except for this. I have my risk, and I always respect my risk. I don't trade everything what i see unless i let's say close my trading profit then i open another one ali saying it was due to cat news yesterday maybe eurocad yes the eurocad was due to the news indeed ali you're right let's see dollar mexican peso interesting pair to trade and market downtrend so i'm waiting for a bigger retracement and nice 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 downtrend here Really nice. Euro Swissy, very good, but I somehow I don't, you see only 39 pips and it's like Euro Swissy. I, I don't trade it a lot, but this was good. Swiss yen, yeah, now bullish signs. Probably this uh, will go up. I see this V shaped reversal here. Watch this inverted head and shoulders. This is the right shoulder, this is the head. Now, uh, uh, sorry, this is the left shoulder. This is the head. This is the right shoulder. Yeah, this could be a nice trade. But as I say, I'm not opening anything because I I am a professional guy in this business and I always trade uh, the risk that I uh, personally have. So if I am at full risk, I won't be opening any more positions. So how I do if I uh, if I close the position, only then I open a new position. Now, guys. Uh, we will call it today. I will just update you if you are in a trade regarding trade management. Uh, Euro, dollar, uh, we don't have a lot of room to next uh, resistance. But once I have uh, profits, uh, like 15 pips, 
I might be scaling out, put the rest to break even and ride a free ride. So you can also do it if the price gets to in between 13.10, 13.15, uh, you can actually protect your profits, put a stop loss to break even and depending on your initial entry and leave the rest running, then you might actually uh, make your target uh, potential a little bit higher to 13.58 target price. If you want to protect uh, profits by profit stop, then uh, I would suggest moving your stop loss to plus 15 pips once it reaches 20 pips of profit. Uh, regarding New Zealand, the end situation is different. Uh, we still have a uh, room to next uh, support. My entry was from yesterday. So my also uh, target, uh, I wanted it to go up. I, obviously, I won't be having this target, but it doesn't matter because if the price goes to uh, 76, uh, one, I think even either it will reject or it will go up. But what I will do, I will protect 20 pips. So if you entered here a little bit lower, once the price gets 23 to 25 pips, just protect it by moving your profit stop to plus 20 pips. This is bullish sign indeed, Ali, and I'm still in the trade. So yeah, I'm, I'm holding to this trade. I don't, I am patient. I'm always patient when I trade, of course. Okay, guys, so we can call it a day. I hope that you enjoyed the uh, trading webinar. I gave you also uh, the analysis for other pairs, two trading entries, uh, manage your entries, uh, risk your profits. Uh, initially, risk should be smaller and do not uh, take big risks, guys. Uh, you want to be able to trade uh, as long as you can, not just for a season or for a few months. You need to keep your account live. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your comments. Uh, I will uh, see you soon. I wish you a great trading uh, day and a week. And cheers, guys. As always, trade safe.